Okay guys, the streets of Gotham City, and we're driving the much, much cooler Batmobile. I really don't think the Batmobile in Batman Begins and the Dark Knight is that cool, to be honest. Well, you never know, we might um, might see an improved one in uh, if they ever do a third film. So I've got to drive along, I'm escaping from the Joker, and avoiding the police cords that I very ably managed to show you there, by using the, uh, the grapple on the car. So basically, it's not... Well, it's not the most imaginative levels. I have to drive a hundred whatever units those are. Hopefully they're not miles to reach the Batcave. And that seems to mainly involve bumping into pedestrians and ambulances and things that really should be getting out of the way. And if they're going as fast as the Batmobile... Oh, I'm going to die here if I don't get on. Well, I am. Well, oh, can't go around the police. So they arrested me. Okay, you see, I can never talk and play games very well. Particularly action games. I mean, again, I can usually do this level within about one or two lives. Nope. Yeah, and obviously, slowing down does not at all affect the impact on your, uh, your car. That's quite an odd level for them to adapt. So you're supposed to have just rescued Vicky Vale from the museum in in the film. And in the in the film, there's a short chase where you use the grapple, um, but. You know, he stops to he gets stopped by the cops and gets out of the car and uh, beats out some more crooks. Whereas in this game, you just have to you know run away and hope you don't hit any ambulances or buildings. I'm really never going to make it through this level, am I? Oh. There we go, just in time. So there's a halfway point of 50 units. So let's see if I can actually get there. Oh. Oh. Yes! Just in the nick of time. Commodore 64 version of this game uh, wasn't like a 3D driver. You actually got an overhead view of the car. Uh, I think it was actually quite easy, if I remember correctly. Ooh, just. Love the music though. None of the music uh, in this game has actually appeared in the movie. The score was done by Danny Elfman in the movie, and it's brilliant music. And it's just really, it really makes me sad that Batman Begins and uh, The Dark Knight didn't use the Batman theme from uh, the first two films. It's a bit like, uh, you know, when they did the new Superman film, at least they used the, uh, the Superman theme. Because, uh, I mean, that hadn't been used for years, and it's iconic. And I think the Batman theme is just as iconic, but there's no Batman theme in this game. Or in the new Batman movies. Not to say that the music in the new Batman movies is bad. We're nearly at the halfway point now. Just don't crash with the ambulance. Just don't, need to, just don't do anything silly, Stuart. That was silly. Oh, I'm going to take the corner in slow motion. Right, it's okay, we've made it to the halfway point. So you can keep grinning, Joker. But I'm laughing. I think that's a Joker car, given that it's got such a bizarre colour scheme. But I don't really know. I mean, are these just random pedestrians and uh, drivers, or are they just. Um, or are they actually the Joker's minions, and that's why I'm losing energy when I hit them? I mean, I think that's an ambulance. It could be a Joker van. Or maybe the Joker's minions are in the ambulance. I don't know! But it would explain why when I hit them in my massive uh, bulletproof Batmobile, I'm taking damage and they're just kind of driving off. Ooh. But yeah, I mean, the arcade game, uh, you, uh, you actually do the fight in the streets. And, uh, you know, the, the Driving the Batmobile is really easy in the arcades, you just fire at crooks. I don't think Batman ever actually kills anybody in the, in the movie. Uh, you know, with a gun. Ooh, thank goodness, because I was not wanting to go back to the start again. And this is the other thing is, we've got a time limit here, and I've only got about a minute and a half left to do 23 whatevers. Never get it. Yep, brilliant. So you can't even take your time and try and drive methodically. That was a close one. You just basically got to career down the street and turn as quickly as possible. We're not doing too badly now. I don't know if I'm going to make
make it, though. Smoke's coming out of the Batmobile. That's not a good sign. Let's go take it to a mechanic. Oh, we should be alright, actually. Notice how all these streets look exactly the same. At least this one's deserted, though. Okay, we'll probably be alright now. Oh, come on. Roadhog! Pedestrians. Oh, rubbish. Right, we're nearly there, though. Nearly there. And we've made it! You've escaped the Joker, but what secrets lie ahead? Right, what we have next is the Batcave subgame. If it loads. And this is like some sort of... So you're trying to work out what this formula is for the Smilex, and it's basically a process of elimination. So you take a guess that so one of those things was in the Joker's formula. Two of those things were in the Joker's formula. Three were! Well, that was like a completely lucky guess. But now the Smilex guess has been successfully analysed, now we have to thwart the Joker's carnival plot, but we'll do that in another video. Okay, so thanks for watching. Let's play Batman 1989.